Exactly mm -hmm. East. Okay. Um, I just made the name change recently. Uh, okay. For the, for the for the new year, um, I used to go by Big East. Okay. But um, why the change? Why the change? Um, pretty much uh, Big East. If you're familiar with Big East, the conference. Okay. Uh, the college football conference. Um, pretty much. Just so you can be more yeah, direct. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Because because at that point I was sharing my name pretty much. So you know, like whoever was looking for me, they would. Like go through that first and see basketball versus you before getting to me, and um I thought it was marketable. You know I thought it was real marketable, and after sitting down and talking with my team about it, it was felt like a good move. Okay, so you drove straight from Brooklyn here. It's a small drive. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Um, we actually flew in actually. Okay, so you're on tour. Yeah. Um. So, so we're doing the press tour for the new EP that just dropped. What's the uh, name of that EP? Forever dripping, never slipping. Uh, everywhere. Um, all major streams, iTunes, Tidal, uh, Google Play, Spotify, Amazon Music. Okay. So, you know, you can stream it everywhere pretty much. And this is the first single that we're about to drop tonight? Yeah, the first single, which is called Show Me Love. Show Me Love, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's got a nice, you know, mainstream sound. So what, yeah, yeah, I appreciate so would you, it. So, would you, so what, what would you describe your, your artistry as, your, your flow? If there's an artist like you or... That you've modeled or just you've seen, you're impressed by. I don't know. Just what would you say yeah. people can connect with this before we drop it? Um, I feel like I'm a versatile, like like I'm really versatile. Um, I was talking to my PR about this prior the other day. I, I feel like I'm one of the probably the few that can uh, tap into like the new sound of uh, EDM pop and uh, play play with my vocals a little bit with the auto tune, and then I could. Uh, so you're mainly a singer, a rapper, a, a mix of both? I mean, you know, it gets... It. I would Every, say I'm a mix of both. Well, okay. no. I would say I'm an artist. Okay. Yeah, I would say I'm an artist first. That, um... That could rap really well. Because, you know, I mean, that's where I came... Uh, that's where I come from. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, up. Brooklyn, yeah, I mean... So, you know, that's where I come from. Just being real heavy with the balls and things like that and the lyrics. And then, you know, as I grown and matured and... Uh, try to perfect my craft, I figured out uh, other things along the way. Which artist maybe influenced you to be where you are today, to get started even? Um, indie or mainstream, it doesn't matter. Cause we're, we're, this is the indie show. Well, I mean, the artist that made me feel like and, and gave me the confidence to uh, like do music as a bigger person would obviously be Biggie. Um, especially when I was younger, you know, my, my mom's and uh, family members in the house would tease me about, you know, me being Big E and all of this, you know what I'm saying? Um, I will also say uh, one of my influences is Heavy D. Okay. He, he, he was really comfortable in the skin. Yeah. He, he could move, you know what I'm saying? He never cussed on the radio, never. never. Ladies, he, yes. He never cussed. You know, I was he, one of the few rappers who came out, you never had to worry about a dirty version. He also never used profanity in his music. And, you know, he was swaggy too, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. um, cutting edge. <clears throat> I definitely think he brought, like, a lot of swag, you know what I'm saying, for the big boys. Yeah.